Hey guys, people often ask about the meters um, that you can buy for looking after your worms. Um, if you've only got one small worm farm, um, probably the only one you really need is a pH meter. Um, it's, it's nice to be able to um, uh, check your pH and make sure you're not too acidic so you know whether or not to add dolomite, limes, etc. Um, uh, rather than just adding them all the time as a preventative. Um, I tend to add them all the time anyway for the grit value and, and also just as a, um, a again a preventative prevention is better than cure um, so I don't know how good you're going to be able to see the readings on the meters that that pH meter on the left there that's reading just below 7 um, so that's within a range where I wouldn't um, uh, if I was uh, relying on the meter I wouldn't be bothered adding too much um, uh, pH buffer. Um, what you've got to understand about the cheaper meters that we all buy is that they're not going to be calibrated all exactly the same. They're not going to be totally accurate. They're just an indicator. Um, so to a certain extent um, you've got to get used to what your meter reads and um, uh, be able to um, uh, figure out what that means to you. Um, like this moisture meter. Um, it's reading um, 8 at the moment in this bed. Um, uh, sort of um, uh, my brief observations I've only had that meter about um, two weeks is that um, seven, eight, nine is, is sort of a, an acceptable drier sort of level for the um, uh, worms um, nine, ten is probably a little bit um, on the moist side but if you're going to make an error with your moisture you want to make sure you add a little bit too much rather than not enough um, the worms will survive being too wet, but they won't survive being too dry. And the last one there, you probably can't see the markings on that. It's quite hard, even with the naked eye, without my glasses on. But um, that's a temperature probe. Um, it was reading 35 Celsius, which is 95 Fahrenheit, um, a few minutes ago in the other farm, because I had it poked into the um, food that I'd just fed a couple of days ago. Um, but already within a few minutes um, in this other farm, it's coming back down below 30 um, at the moment in, in Queensland, in Australia here, we're having overnight temperatures of about um, 15, 17 degrees Celsius and uh, daytime temperatures maximum sort of 25, 27 Celsius. Um, so the bedding uh, that's not in a, a food zone um, is pretty much sticking around 25 and food zones are, are around 30 Celsius. Uh, which both the red worms and the um, night crawlers don't seem to mind getting into the food pretty well straight away within sort of a day they're finding it and they're getting into it um, so that's the, the basis of the um, uh, meters that I use um, I think the pH one was uh, like $10 from a, just a little local hardware store and the moisture meter was uh, uh, about $16 and I think the, the temperature probe was about the same um, so it's not a lot of money, but it does give um, a yardstick to be able to measure different farms and um, make sure when, when you've got a big farm or so many farms that you can um, monitor what's going on and, and try and have um, uh, the farms being sort of pretty well similar in, in the, their makeup and composition. Alright, thanks so much for watching the video.